So I want to start by um, discussing the new dev package resources that have been added to the Microsoft 365 DC project. This dev package folder is located directly at the root of the project, and it contains a set of templates to help you um, accelerate the development of new DSC resources. Okay. So what you can do is you can go to that package. You can just copy those two folders. You should see modules and tests. Go back to the root of the project and just paste that in. It will go and it will automatically create the artifacts that are required uh, for every new resources to be contributed back to the project. Let's have a quick look at what's been created. So if we go and take a look at the, um, the new files, the files in green in Visual Studio Code, you see that under Modules and 365 DSC Resources, we have a new folder called Resource Name that contains four artifacts. It contains the resource, the PSM1, which is the logic of your resource. And if you scan through the code, you're going to see that we have a bunch of to-dos to do. So basically, what you'll need to do here is follow the instructions, but in this case, uh, it says replace the primary key. So let's say my resource exposes something called display name. That would be my primary key. Add the list of all the other parameters, the method signature. Um, so you'll see throughout the file, there are about a dozen to do that, that needs to be manually done when you're creating resources. The second file we have is the schema on moth file. So this contains the definition of all the properties for your resources. So you're, again, you're going to have to go and list, say, your primary key, so display name, provide a description. That description here can be taken directly from the documentation we have online, uh, or feel free to type in your own. But I would recommend you go and you actually use what's officially documented on the learn.microsoft.com website. So you would list your primary keys. You would list all the optional uh, or properties that your resource have. These you need to keep. Those are the, the common ones across all resources, right? They, they uh, represent the authentication parameters. The third file is a readme file. So again, this is used to dynamically generate our documentation on the website. So just provide a quick description of what your resource does, right? Update the name, of course, but also go and provide a one or two sentence. Basically, this resource is about configuring ABC in the Azure portal, for example. Settings.json, this represents the permission that are required by the users or the service principal to use your resource. So in the case of users, if your resource is an exchange resource, the user will need exchange admin, for example. This is something you would list here. If you're using a service principal, um, if your, your APIs are on graph, you'll have to go and fill out the application. You can leave the delegated permissions empty, right? Because we're only relying on application permissions. And then you would list a minimum set of permissions required to do a read operation. So that is normally for monitoring for drifts or exporting your resource. And you'll also list the permissions that are required to do an update. The other components that are going to be created are um, the examples. So you're going to see a new folder called the resource name. Just replace that by the name of your resource, right? Um, you can take a look at other examples that we have. So for every resource, what we try to do is create three examples. One to go and create a new instance, one that will go and update an existing uh, instance on the tenant, and then one that will go and remove it with the entry equals absent. And then last but not the least, we also go and create unit tests for you. So if you take a look at the unit test folder, you're going to see the M365 DSC resource name test that have been created. Again, there are a few to dos in the file where you're going to have to go and replace certain things. Right? So, for example, in this case here, you're going to go and need to add uh, mock parameters so that the test can run. Uh, you're going to have to replace the name of certain commandlets that have been mocked by the name of the resource you're building. So, let's say you're building a new Exchange Online sweep rule, that would be get sweep rule, or sweep rule and so on. Okay. So this package is there to help you create all the artifacts that are required and put those templates in place.